Today is Tuesday, May 4th, 2021. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> it's about noon. 55 or so degrees. Mild winds. Uh, pretty nice day overall. A little on the cool side. And today, just going to be looking at the graphs that I did over the weekend to see how many, if any, took. So, all I have, I just, I'm only going to be using just my, my tool. Okay, I don't have smoke or anything like that. Pretty much, no matter what I do, those bees are going to be all over me. So, and I'm only expecting to be in and out of there within just a few minutes. So I just, I just really want to see how many of these graphs took. Um, hopefully at least some, <clears throat> so that I can make my splits in another week or so. But let's have a look. I'm gonna just put my gloves on really quick. And then we'll go over there. I came outside, I don't know, about 10-15 minutes ago to get the eggs from the chickens and you can see so there's the chicken house so I was getting getting in there in this area here and a bee from over here in this hive was coming and buzzing me buzzing around my ear it actually bumped into my head and bumped into my ear and just doing its thing and <laughs> uh, really want to get this hive requeened all right so let's see what we got Point this down a bit like that. Okay. I got queen cells started here. Actually, I'm going to take out the uh, dummy frame. Just so I can scoot all these other frames over. Because I didn't bring my little little uh, frame grabber thing. Mm -hmm. Scoop these over. Oh, excellent. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, geez. Okay, so it looks like they've accepted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Looks like they've accepted 20 of them. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's all I wanted. Careful, he might come after you over there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they might go over there where you are. There should be anybody in there. Yeah, there should be anybody in there. All right, well that's that. That's all I wanted to see. So that's good news. Happy about that. And I'll come back in another, let's see. I did the grafting on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So if I come back and make my splits on, let's see, they should be capped by next Tuesday or next Wednesday give or take something like that um, I can come back and uh, split these split these up and uh, ugh, see if I can cool these bees off I have to find the find the queen in the mean hive get her out of there pinch her and then uh, put all the cells in so that we can uh, get them get them going Really, really pleased. So if I have 20, and that means I can do two per, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And then um, I guess I can split this one, just do a, I think I could split it two ways, probably split it two ways, and put another uh, four, so that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16. So I'll still have another four cells if they all make it to uh, the capped the cap stage. And um, just make a whole bunch of mating nukes, I guess. I've got plenty of nukes laying around. So maybe I can just, uh, we can just do that. That'd be nice. And get, get some splits going here. So, whew, all right. Step one is a success. I'm gonna get out of here. Get these bees to leave me alone. They don't seem to be following me. That's nice. <laughs> Just so paranoid with them. It sucks. It's, it's really not, really not fun to have mean bees like that. <sighs> but it's just the way it goes. Sometimes gonna have to try to cool them off figure it out without buying any new bees that's really the uh, the goal here is to not have to buy anything don't want to have to buy anything don't really want to have to 
do things that I don't that that I that I should be able to just do it myself and be self sustaining. That's really the goal of of beekeeping in general, but treatment free beekeeping, especially, just not have to buy anything, don't have to import anybody. It can help to sort of di diversify your genetics, but I would only di diversify with local stock. Like if I you know, I wanted to get a local queen or something from a local breeder, I would do that. But I wouldn't import anything from out of the area. Just uh, on principle. And also because I don't think a bee, a, a, a line of genetics from out of this area would do very well here because the climate is so different from the rest of the state. I mean, like I said, it's May and it's 50 degrees, 55 degrees, foggy, cool weather. Elsewhere in the state, even just... 15, 20 miles inland, it's going to be probably in the 70s or the 80s. It's sunny, much, much warmer. It gets much hotter out there in the summertime than it does here. And winter is much different up there, too. It gets snow in the mountains and elsewhere in the state. get less rain than we get here. We get twice as much rain as San Francisco in the Central Valley. So, anyway, just kind of rambling, filling some time. But yeah, overall, happy. Very happy. Since last since the last two years were such a such a disaster. And I know what I did last year. The mistake that I made was not ensuring that there were no eggs in the cell builder that I tried to make. And they ended up making cells on the eggs. Any any I took my I took my my hive tool and it was like scraping scraping the frames to kind of smash the eggs or like kind of make them so they couldn't be used and that just didn't work that was not a good idea i don't know what i was thinking pretty pretty big mistake but it happens learn from the mistakes and try to improve next time and it looks like i have done that so yeah i'll be back out here and another week i'll have to look at a queen calendar to see when actually need to to make up my splits but yeah overall very happy i think what i'll try to do is if i can come out here on sunday to try to extract the queen from the mean hive and 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 dispose of her and then if i could find the queen in the vertical hive and put her into her own nuke or into, uh, I guess into a nuke, a five frame nuke, that'll be fine. And then split that hive up a couple of ways, then we'd be in really good shape for the rest of the year. Maybe even get a little bit of honey this year, I don't know, we'll see. That'd be nice. Okay, well, that's it for now, and we'll see you next time. Bye!